Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to talk about the track by versus ng4 in Angular 50. Track by is the important topic of the Angular application. It is uh, give the better performance if we compare it with the ng4. Now, the main use of the track by is to optimize the performance and it gives the better performance over the star ng4. Now, for an example, like we are showing the data in the grid. Now, if, if the huge amount of the data, if we are showing in the grid, then we have the pagination. Now, if we load the data using the ng4, then what happened? Like when we go on the page number from one to uh, three or four, in the case of the ng4, first it delete whole data and then it take uh, the old data plus the new data. But in case of the track by, it always load only the new data. It don't touch the old data. So that's why track by always give the better performance over the ng4. Now, if we talk like we use track by when we need to track the item which have been added or removed, like the new record basically. What is the syntax for it? Like track by element. So it's basically a method which we create in the uh, I would say in the component side, then we have to take the index like for, for which index we are going to load the data and then collection. It's basically a parameter and it always written the string and then it written the based on the ID. So let's see or understand it with an example. Let's, so let's go to the Visual Studio code. And this is the previous example where we were discussing here. What I will do here. I will create a one method. So this is the previous array variable which we have taken and we have assigned couple of the data. Now here what I'm going to do, I'm going to define a, let's define a method here. So let's create one method and I'm going to take get more student data. So this I'm going to define here and let's make it as a void. And this one so this is the method now inside this method what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this full data basically this uh, the data which we prepared and apart from that i'm going to add two new record to this one comma and here i'm going to give as a five and here i'm going to give as a six so name five and name six we added new in this get more student data now next what i'm going to do i'm going to create a one uh, button here so let's create a one button here now this button like uh, let's create one button and i'm going to give fetch more data so this is the method name now on this button click event let's attach the click event and here i'm going to attach this method get more student data so this method i have attached here so let's this is the method so let's uh, attach it now let's go on the browser and currently we see only the four record because at the constructor we have uh, created that method which contain only the four record now let's open the inspect element here now in this inspect element we will see so what i'm going to do i'm going to open the root and html so this is the HTML and let's, so I have taken this inspect element in the side. So now you observe the table, like currently we have the uh, four rows if with the TR, you can identify like all the four rows. When I will click on this fetch more data, what it will do, it will delete the existing record and then it will add two more new row. So when I click on this, please observe in the inspect element side. So let's click on this so we can see like it is deleted all and it's newly added it is highlighting all the value so when i click again we can see like every time whenever i click it deleting and then loading all the record including two new data and we can see here like name five and name six new record is also showing here so if we take here large amount of the data or the huge amount of the data when if it, it will delete and then load, it will give the more performance issue and that we are doing using the ng4. Now let's make changes uh, to this and try to uh, get this uh, loop using the track by method. So for that, let's uh, create even method here and let's put track by student 
name and inside this one we are going to take the index and that will be the number type and student that the type is any and it will return the string so this i'm going to take now next thing is return and what i'm going to do i'm going to student dot and name so this i'm going to return from here now the next thing what we, so this method we have created now next thing what we have to do we have to call it in the ng4 as in track by so for uh, calling it using the track by what we have to do we have to use the track by this is the keyword that we need like just like the index and or we discussed in the previous video similar to that we have to use the track by and then this method name we have to copy and we have to put it here so this is the way now let's save it and go on the browser so if i'll come on the browser let's expand this one so here let's expand so currently there are four uh rows in that this table so when i will click on this one you will see it will not highlight these two these four existing four and it will highlight only the the newly added record so when i click on this we can see it is highlighting only the two new record because it find only two new record is added that's why now if i will click this again we can see it is not highlighting it because all the existing record there is no new record so if i am going to click it is not loading so if we want to see it again let's reload it and let's expand it go to the table currently four record now i'm going to click it you can see here only the two two new record will show so when i click it we can see only the two new record is showing so this is the way like the track by and the ng4 we can use in our angular 15 application and that is the difference between them so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you